Yes, hello, welcome everybody. Chris here from MOD Extra. It's an unboxing video today and we're going to take a look at another Gentle Giant Marvel animated statue with Thor. Okay, so you might have seen my unboxing video last week where I picked up this little fella, the Punisher from the Gentle Giant Marvel animated statue range. Uh, despite my misgivings about the size and some of the paint quality around the hairline, uh, I was really super impressed, super cute little piece. Still feel a little bit like they're generally uh, overpriced. I understand why they're coming in at the price that they're coming in at. They're, I mean, they're obviously great sculpts, uh, handcrafted, hand-painted. They do a limited release run, I think 3,000 of this particular model worldwide. So I totally understand the value. It's just a bit more than a casual collector of my nature would perhaps be willing to pay. But I was so enamoured with my Punisher that I picked up that I went having a look online for some more hit up ebay and found this one for an absolute steal for like a quarter of the price you would pay at retail so very very happy with that uh, initial observations the box is a lot larger than the punisher so maybe the size i'll feel a little bit more less hard done by for the statue size and it's a scotty young sculpt it's based on the scotty young covers that marvel ran a couple of years back so really excited that it's his artwork i'm a big fan of scotty young his artwork being brought to life with the statue there so we'll crack it open and let's take a closer look at the quality of the model and uh, see what we think shall we okay here we go then uh stanley knife at the ready here's the gentle giant marvel animated statue thor you can see the scotty young design there on the box it's got some the usual kind of blurb on the back it says here that this is the 11th character in the popular and adorable marvel animated statue line and it is pretty pretty adorable we can all agree on that uh, i've had to raise the camera a bit because the size comparably to the punisher box is a lot lot bigger if i put the two of them there like that so uh in the punisher unboxing i was a little bit like oh this is tiny i've spent a lot of money and it's minuscule uh whereas this comparably is a lot lot bigger so i've had to raise the camera so you're getting a little bit of my desk my dartwood desk in the background there but that's not an issue is it so let's let's take a closer look at the model no tape on the outside, but the Punisher was taped up on the inside, so I've got the Stanley knife at the ready. So let's open this up. The Punisher had the Certificate of Authenticity just on the top, as does the Thor. Here we go. So I have, oh wow, number 0099 of 3000. I'm in the first 100 here. And just like with the Punisher, it's a little trading card, Certificate of Authenticity. My word. On, in, within the first 100 that i don't know whether that changes the value or not but that's kind of exciting at least for uh for me let's put that down so the shadow is a bit less on it uh so i'll pop that with the punisher one over there let's get this bad boy out of the box then standard styrofoam setup just drop the box on the floor that's taped on there uh, right, yeah, it is. It's going to have to be a Stanley knife jobby, I think. Or is that? Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do a slice. Hoping once again, like I said in the last video, that I'm not slicing through the model itself here. The styrofoam, I think, is quite thick, so I'm hoping I'm all right. I'm just I'm trying to do a shallow cut across it. There we go. There we go. Look at this expert Stanley knifemanship. This has come from years of wallpapering. I've developed my Stanley Knife strategy. There we go. Okay, let's get the lid off there. Oh, no, he is kind of smaller. By, uh, the box is perhaps misrepresenting the size a little bit there. Let's take him out. Get the styrofoam out the way. He says knocking the microphone and probably causing a racket. There he is. Oh, wow, it's quite a dynamic statue. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's switch to a closer camera to take a, a closer look, shall we? Okay, then, here we go. So I've moved the camera a little bit closer so we can take a better look at the model, and I've also turned the autofocus auto on on the camera. 
So yeah, that's a that's a fun little sculpt. Um, nice kind of action shot. I think the the detailing in the hair is is a bit heavy handed, I suppose, but it's uh, it's got a nice look. He's got the kind of chainmail armor thing going on here. Uh, it's a so it's a classic kind of Stan Lee uh, Thor uniform. The cape, particularly though, is really selling the the movement uh, and the dynamic of the statue. Uh, just like with the Punisher, it's got the number on the bottom as well. Uh, so there we go, limited edition, not not nine nine three thousand. Uh, he's got his swinging statue. Somebody in the Punisher video asked for a size comparison, so let's do that. So yeah, they're coming in at roughly around the same height. The larger box, uh, I think, was for no other reason than to accommodate the cape in the box. Uh, there's some, some nice paintwork on the cape, though, like with the shadowing and the shading there, selling the cape. Uh, he's got his little hammer. There he is from the side, like leaping into action. He's stand, yeah, he's well balanced. Well balanced. His helmet's rather cute. Can you see you guys see that? With the little <laughs> the cute little wings. And the he's put a little uh, I don't know what you call them, the little spinny things, uh, you know, the children's hat, the, the novelty children's hat. <laughs> little windmill at the top there, just to give it that little extra cutesy look. Um Yeah, it's a it's a nice piece of work that, isn't it? Nice piece of work. Uh, much happier with that in terms of the sort of second hand I say second hand, it was new out of box um, but certainly much happier on the secondary market I suppose I should say picking it up at the at the better price I picked it up for on eBay so that might be my way to proceed if I start deciding to collect more of these there's a, a tremendous Thanos and there's a great Wolverine uh, but I just can't find those at any sort of reasonable price they're very, very expensive there's a Storm as well and she's going for like 100 bucks plus. So I don't know whether that's because of the, the limited number run is is far reduced. Uh, the Punisher is a 4,000. And Thor there is a 3,000. Uh, but super cool, super cool. Another great addition to my little nerd altar in the corner of the room there. Very pleased with that. Uh, so that's what the Gentle Giant Thor statue, animated Thor statue looks like. I'll, uh, I'll do you a quick shot, some photos, uh, just to wrap the video up so you can sort of see it standing up properly. But there concludes my Thor Marvel Animated Statue by Gentle Giant unboxing. Aha! Not what you were expecting, is it? Right now, you're expecting some arty-farty sweeping shots of the model, because I just said I was going to finish the video with some sweeping arty-farty shots of the model. Uh, however... There's some new information come to light as a result of the photography that I was taking for that that I think I need to share. So I noticed on my, I'm pointing at it, my Punisher model review that I did prior to this one, that the camera shake was a little bit too much when I was doing the sweeping shots. And so I went on Amazon and just bought this lovely piece of cheap kit, this uh, mirrored rotating turntable thing. I thought what I'll do is I'll put my camera on a tripod, pop the model on the rotating turntable, and I can take those sweeping shots without the camera shake. And then I'd have to apply less filters and faff about with cutting and editing the video as much. Great idea, I'm sure you'll agree. However, when I did that with the Thor model, well, let me show you what happened. So here you can see me placing the model on the turntable. I put my white cardboard box around it to capture some interesting lighting bouncing off the model there. And it's spinning around. And then just as it reaches this point here, you'll see it starts to wobble a bit. And what you don't see, because I stopped the video at that point, tried to desperately catch it, is that it fell about three and a half feet off the desk onto the floor. And, well, this happened. He landed right on top of the hammer arm. And it's snapped off. And he's got a bit of a crack. I don't know if you... Oh, let me angle it right. Oh, you can't see it. He's got a bit of a crack in his neck. Up here. Like his head's about to fall off. So I've had the thing for a day. It's been open for less than an hour. And I've already managed to trash the bloody thing. So I don't know if that speaks to the fragility of these models and the, the kind of care that collectors should take with them. Certainly don't put them on rotating turntables, especially when they've got a weird kind of centre of gravity with 
sweeping cloaks and things but i thought it was an interesting piece of information to share uh, i mean it's all my fault i'm not i'm not calling out gentle giant or anything on this it's it's entirely down to me but you're not going to get the artifarty you know 30 seconds of sweeping shots that i promised because i need to go out and buy some loctite now and try and glue this bad boy back together but the conclusion of the video is that the mighty thor not not so mighty it appears not so mighty at all uh, so there you go i hope you enjoyed my review please do let me know in the comments below if these are the sort of things that you'd like to see me do more of on the mod extra channel please also subscribe if you're new around here we're, a, we're on a goal we're on a mission to get ourselves up to 100 subscribers so that we can have the custom url and not have to you know tell people to search for us all the time uh but uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you guys again soon all right ta-da